Hello again, second graders. It's Miss Thompson, and today we're going to take a look at IXL and how to log in and some of the things that you can do to help you to uh, continue your instruction and even enhance your learning in all of our subjects. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing, of course, you'll do is log into IXL.com and then you will input the username that I gave you. Making sure you put it in correctly. And then click on sign in. And the first time you sign in, all you'll see is it says recommendations. And you can from here, if you just want to pick a great your grade level, probably most of you should probably be working in third grade or third grade or second grade skills. That's a great place to get started. And, but what I need you guys to do to help make sure that you are really and truly working on the skills you need to work on is I want you to go up here to the part that says diagnostic. It's just a big word that means finding what level you're working on. So you'll click up on, on diagnostic. And then you want to click on step into the arena. And it's going to start off by asking you to choose a question. You get to choose which one you start off with. So let's see. This one looks like a great one that I think I might know the answer to. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to complete the multiplication sentence that describes the model. Well, it looks here that I have four groups with five in each group. So I think that's four times five. And if I count by fives, I find out that four times five is 20. And I'll submit that. That one's mo That's one that most of you guys should know. Now, this one is probably for most of you something that we have not done yet. We're just starting multiplication and we have not done multiplication with four digits. When you see a problem like this that you absolutely do not know how to do, and Ms. Thompson's not gonna expect you to know how to do it, you look over here, there is a little thing that says, I don't know this yet. And it is okay for you to click on this during the diagnostic because there are going to be questions that you do not know yet. And I do not expect you to know them yet. So go ahead and click on, I don't know this yet. It just says, okay, we'll work on that later. And it's going to go through and give you lots more questions. Some of them will be math. Some of them will be language. There might even be a few other, other questions. For example, here's a language question. Select the antonym or the opposite of the word in bold. Well, the word in bold is right. Mr. McKinney gave us the right directions to the post office. We just made a wrong turn somewhere. Well, which of those words means the opposite of right? Well, that would be wrong. So I click on wrong. I click submit. And it'll let you know if you got it right. Now here, what is the difference between a glare and a glance? Well, I think I might know that one. So I'm going to say that a glare, a glance shows anger. And I'm going to submit that. Well, unfortunately at that time, I didn't get it right, but it's okay. This is just for Ms. Thompson and you guys to know what you understand and what you don't. So you're going to go through several of these questions. If you really and truly don't know it, just click on I don't know that yet. Also, if you need to hear the questions on a lot of them with reading, it'll actually read it to you. Answer the riddle. I live on a farm. I may be black and white. You can get milk from me. What am I? A turtle. A hen. A cow. Well, I think from those clues, I'm pretty sure that they're talking about a cow. So I'm going to submit that. Oh, great. That's right. You're going to get some of the easy ones right. There's going to be some that you don't know, and that is okay. You can keep doing this. Now, this is going to take a while, so I'm not going to take you through the whole thing. But when you are, as you're working, it's going to show you that your 
it's narrowing down where your level is in certain subjects. If you get a little bit frustrated or you're tired or you need a break, you can stop this at any time. That is fine. If you kind of want to see where you're working at right now, you can look up here and you can see your levels. And right now it's saying that I'm working around here in my numbers and operations. And it's also recommended a skill that I need to work on. And that's what we're really trying to find here are the skills that you need to work on. Because once you have done the diagnostic for a while, and you might need to break it up over a few days, that's fine. It takes as long as it takes. Break it up a little bit. You, you do what you need to do. But once you have several different things, see if you notice here, there's a lot of things that I have not been evaluated on. But once you have some recommended skills, you can go back to learning. So you wanna to go to learning. And if you notice now in my recommendations, it has some skills that IXL suggests that I work on. So you can choose what you want to work on in order to improve your skills. And that's one way to be able to find out some, find out some very interesting things to work on in math and language arts, even some science and social studies. You can also just go to a subject you want to work on. For example, you can go to math. And of course, we're not going to go to pre-K because we're not in pre-K. So you probably want to, especially in math, since we're mostly working on third grade skills, you might want to go to third grade. But if you're finding that that's a little difficult, you could go to second grade. But I'm going to go ahead and look at the third grade skills. And you can pick, for example, if you want to get better at um, addition, you can go to adding some numbers. It shows when you click on a, um, or put the cursor over the words, it shows you an example of that kind of problem. And you can pick a skill that you want to work on. And it's going to take you through some examples of that. And let's just kind of see what that looks like. So here, if I click on addition, adding two numbers together, it's going to give you some different problems to work on. If you need an example, you can go up here and click on learn with an example. And it's going to give you an example of how to do that problem. And then you can go back to the practice and you can fill in the answer, submit it, and it will let you know how you're doing. Now, I recommend that if you're doing a skill, you wanna try to get a SMART score of around 80 before you stop, 80 or even 100 would be awesome. And you notice if you're in the middle of something and you need to stop, you need to take a break, click on here and say, need a break and that's going to take you out of that for now. One last thing I wanna show you is the awards. Now this is another way that you can decide what you wanna work on that day. If you go over here and you click on awards, you can pick a grade level where you want to uh, try and do different challenges in order to earn medals and you can earn certificates. You can do different things in order to help you to improve your math skills. Now, I had picked third grade math. You might try that at first. If you're finding that a little bit too challenging right now, then go down to second grade. That is your choice for right now. So for example, it gives you a game board. Your goal, I think, is to try to fill out this game board and the more sections you fill out, then you get different prizes for each one. So for example, if I go to a question mark, then the, to uncover this square, you need to master five skills in the category multiplication skill builders. So you can click on that and it's going to take you to different skills in multiplication. And once you've mastered five skills, then it'll uncover this square. There's lots of different squares, estimation, just answering 100 questions, um, 
five skills and comparing. There's lots of different choices and you get choices like, for example, this one to uncover this square, you just got to practice for five minutes. Some of them are easy. Some of them are a little more challenging, but the cool thing is you get to pick. There is a an award board for, for math and if you click here, there is also one for language arts. It looks a little bit different. On this, you can earn different stickers by completing different tasks. Like for this, for example, this one, if you're practicing for 15 minutes in on a language skill, you would get a sticker. If you practice for two days, you get a sticker. Some of them are easier to get than others. And I think, and as you go, you'll earn more stickers or you'll earn more squares in the math. And that will also generate some certificates that you can earn. So I think that is a, another really neat way to help you practice your math and your language. So what I need you to do today is if you haven't already, or even if you had, go ahead and make sure, log into IXL and I want you to do the diagnostic and try to do it for at least about 20 minutes today and see how far you get. Do it for about a little bit every day and then see when you go to learning what skills is it recommending that you work on. Now, the more you do the diagnostic, When you see these turn into stars, that's when it has found your level and it's going to give you questions that are at that level and you'll have more skills it recommends that you work on. So you can go back to that, play around with it and see what works best for you. But this is a great tool just to kind of help you to practice some of the skills we're working on as well as maybe even enrich or go a little bit beyond what we've already learned. Some of you guys that are really liking to do that kind of thing. So I hope that this has helped you to understand a little bit more about what IXL is and how it works. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I will see you more tomorrow. Bye. Love you.